Well, we have had the most unexpected June. Certainly not what we had planned, but I think that it's time that all of you deserve an update from us on Villa V. Hey everybody, what is up? This is Jordan with JJ Cruz. Thank you so much for clicking into the video today. I know a lot of you here that watch the channel today found us earlier in the year when we discussed Villa V and going to live on a residential cruise ship. Well, as you can see, I am here <laughs> sitting in my studio at home and currently not on a residential cruise ship as planned. So today I just want to go through an update, tell you a little bit about what's going on with us, what we understand is going on with Villa V, and fill you in on our future and relationship with the cruise line company moving forward. Before I get ahead of myself though, I do just want to invite you to the channel. This is JJ Cruise. We are an all-inclusive, all-encompassing YouTube channel about cruise travel. If you love cruising as much as Jared and I do, I invite you to subscribe and don't forget to hit that thumbs up below. We have a very busy life. If you follow us on the channel or you have for a long time, you see that we kind of jump from ship to ship. We cover brand new cruise ships. We cover brand new cruise itineraries. And so it took us a while to kind of get on the same page with Villa V and kind of formulate this plan that would really work with our schedule to check out what this new cruise line is all about and how we kind of fit into their world of digital nomad cruising. If you haven't heard yet, Villa V is a brand new affordable residential cruise ship that people are selling their homes to go and live abroad while the cruise ship traverses the world for three and a half years. They had invited us on board to come on board for part of our summer to live on board to figure out what life was like at sea and to really understand their community and the mission and value that Villa V really is trying to provide to not only the cruise space in the industry, but also the travel world. We announced in February that we were officially going to be on board starting in early June, once the ship was launched, while we were going to be in the northern part of Europe for a majority of our summer, just living on board, getting to know the product, getting to learn from the people why they sold their home or why they decided to live on board a cruise ship full time and covering all of that for all of you at home here on YouTube. Well, June has come and gone. We are now in the first week of July and you have made it known that you want an update. So many people have been commenting on every single video, even videos that are not related to Villa V. What's going on with Villa V? Why haven't you provided an update? Why haven't you said anything to us? And the honest truth is we were waiting to try and figure out what we were doing and where we were going before we provided an update for all of you. I could have come on here a month ago and I could have said, hey, we're not boarding Villa V this week, but we don't know when we're boarding Villa V and we don't really know what's going on with them. If you have not heard yet, Villa V has yet to sail out. They were originally supposed to sail in mid-May and then that got pushed to early June and then the end of June and it has been pushed to sometime this month in the month of July. There's very, very good reason why they are not sailing yet. And I think there's a, a good understanding from all of their community. And it really comes down to a couple of key inspections that the ship did not pass during dry dock. The ship went in for a short dry dock just to kind of get the ship completely ready for people to make it their new home in early April. And then it was supposed to float out in early May and then float out with all of its residents in mid-May. Well, they did find out during a, another inspection before the ship was floated out in May that there was some rudder issues and there was some replacements that needed to be special ordered, specially shaped, and then installed on the ship. This, of course, pushed back the dry dock by several weeks. There were already quite a few people or the residents that were boarding the ship over there in Belfast getting ready to get on board. And Villa V has been really good about taking care of those people from what we hear. They sent them to a resort for a few weeks. They put them up in hotels. They offered to fly them back to their homes if they did still have homes. 
while they readily awaited the ship being done. Now, since then, the ship has undergone a complete transformation, and they've been bringing a lot of the residents on board for tours and to see, you know, what the ship looks like. They've been sharing a lot on their YouTube channel, and I have to say the ship looks amazing. This dry dock is one of the most important dry docks in, honestly, the history of the cruise world, and that's because this is going to be home for people. The ship cannot afford to go into emergency dry dock over the next three and a half years as it does its grand world tour because people are permanently living there. They can't just cancel a sailing because, well, the ship slowed down and needs fixed or the rudder broke and that needs fixed. They really don't have that option. So they have this one shot to get their dry dock right and get it ready for the next three and a half years. Jared and I have said this over and over again, and we even said it to Villa V when we were talking to them not too long ago, that we completely understand the sense of safety and finesse that it is taking to make this ship in perfect shape for people to come on board. Unlike other residential cruise ships that have failed to become successful, Villa V already is successful in the fact that they have a ship and the ship is looking stunning. So, where does that leave Jared and I with Villa V and what are we going to do next? Well, we had some other things, some other opportunities come up this summer, and we eventually had to make the very hard decision to not get on a, the Villa V Odyssey this summer, but wait a little bit while we take care of some things at home and also take a couple of other very important trips and opportunities that have been presented to us. We will now be getting on board and meeting the ship when it comes to North America in the fall. So mid-September, the ship comes over to the Northeast. Our current plans, which could always change and we will keep you updated, is to meet the ship and get on it for two weeks to specifically film the ship kind of check out what Villa V is and make that kind of our intro to Villa V. But it doesn't stop there. Two weeks is certainly not long enough to live on board and understand what it's like to live on board. So our plan is to go back in 2025, meet the ship probably in another part of the world where we will stay on board for an extended period of time to really then get the understanding of what it's like to live on board, become a part of that community, and learn a lot more about Villa V and what they stand for and what they're doing and their place in this industry. We haven't lost any of our excitement with Villa V, of course. We were so excited to be getting on board in June, and we just know that that's been a little bit delayed for us so that we can go and do other things. So what is coming next for Jared and I? Well, we are very excited that because this didn't work out this month, we are now going to be getting on Utopia of the Seas towards the end of July for its inaugural or maiden voyage. So that's Royal Caribbean's last Oasis class ship, one of the largest ships in the world. And we'll be getting on that ship to film it and really see what is going on in the world of Utopia of the Seas. We're not slowing down. We're not ending anything with Villa V. We are full steam ahead and we are very excited for the future and the opportunities that are really being presented to us. So thank you for your patience. We apologize if you've been sitting at home waiting for this update, but there it is. That's what we're doing. We'll be getting on with Villa V in the fall for a couple of weeks and then going back next year for an extended time to live on board. And we are so, so excited about that. Let me know in the comments below what you think, if you have questions. If you're still skeptical about Villa V, feel free to drop a statement or a question in the comments and we'll do our best to really get to those. And of course, if you wanna see our journey continue, please hit that subscribe button and on your way out, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. That was the update. Again, my name is Jordan. This was JJ Cruz and until next time, See ya. Jay